<clears throat> All right. So yesterday we started on this lesson um, talking about how we're going to link pages in our website. And I left off with lesson four. Some of you asked to go on. If you went on and did it on your own and you want to watch this and make sure you did it, <clears throat> that's perfectly fine. Uh, so remember we were talking about having a home page, <clears throat> excuse me, which is going to be our index page. And then we're adding pages to that. And we're linking. And uh, yesterday, just looking at this, this was our reference. Um, we're doing an href, and we're giving it the name of the page, which is over here. And then we're giving it the text that we want to actually look at and click and be the hyperlink. Okay. So they're just talking about naming, and we and these rules are basically very very similar to the image one. And you want to try to make these names over here. Um, just maybe a single word, uh, and that's and that's meaningful, okay? And so you can see that we don't have very good names over, over there. So it says, click on the links in the index and see which ones are broken. Change the file name, change file names and link attributes so that um, we have good stuff. And it said, and it gives us some stuff here: special characters. You want to avoid these. <clears throat> Make sure the names have specific meanings. Use dashes or underscores instead of spaces. You shouldn't just space out like that one. And again, if you can, keep them as short and clear as possible. So what we need to do is I'm going to look here at Scotcheroo's recipe. And um, so I can see right now that how to make Scotcheroo's and how to make Scotcheroo's, these don't match up. That's why my link's not, if I click on this, that my link's not going to work. So what I need to do is, is probably... Um, right click over here and do a, a rename and I probably could just add in um, uh, I can do an underscore so how to and to be honest um, it looks like basically I can either do that or I'm just going to do this because instead of having all that stuff, I'm just going to make it scotcheroos. And so I'm just going to come right here. And again, there's not maybe one right answer to this. And I'm just going to make that scotcheroos. And now um, when I click, now I go to the scotcheroos page. Okay. Now they don't have a back button. So I'm going to go back to the index page here. And then I'm going to go. Um, why is it not going back? Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm not going back to the, I'm going to refresh and save. All right, here we go. So now I've got how to juggle. So if I click on that, that doesn't work. So now I'm going to come down here. How to juggle says new 3.html href new dash 3.html well that's not even a good name over here so we're talking about how to juggle so what I'm going to do is again I'm going to right click I'm going to hit rename and I'm going to just type in juggle then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to delete out so now if you tried this on your own and you came up with something different, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, there's not necessarily one right answer to this. Now if I click how to juggle, it takes me there. And now I've got a back to home button there, which doesn't work. Um, I'm going to hit refresh and save. And I'm going to get back to the main page. And my, main, my next one says fun facts about candy. And that one actually works. But if I look down here, I'm going to go hit back to home and see. Okay, so if I go back over here and I have fun facts about candy, I noticed that my name is CHTML. That really doesn't have, I guess, candy. So let's just go ahead and just having a letter isn't really probably a very good file name. So I'm just going to actually call it candy. And then I'm going to come over here and call it candy. All right, so there's that. It says... Um, click on the links in the index and see which ones are broken. Change the file names and link attributes so that they follow good naming conventions with... Alright, so it doesn't say that we have to make them go back. 
So I'm not going to really worry about that right now. It didn't say that. It basically talked about getting um, good names here and making sure that those worked. And that's what we did. So hopefully you can see that this is way easier to read than um, long file names. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And I'm going to go to six. Most websites use navigation bars to find your way around the site, and they should be the same on every page. So look over the navigation bar on our index page and add the same navigation bar to the other three pages. All right, so um, we, can, we can do some copying and pasting is what we can do. So we've got href, unicycle, bicycle, tricycle. And so they take us to where we want to go. But what they want is they want those same um, links on each page so we can maybe bypass the index page. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll start with <clears throat> unicycle. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. Actually, I don't want that copy and pasted. Oh, yeah. No. Um, all right. I'm going to do bicycle. No, I'm going to do unicycle. Okay. So I'm going to hit Command C, and I'm going to go to the bicycle page. And um, underneath bicycle, I'm going to go ahead and hit Command V, and I'll put our unicycle right there. And then I'm going to go back to the index. So we don't need to put bicycle on the bicycle page. But we probably do need to put tricycle, so I'm going to do Command C. I'm going to go to bicycle, and I'm going to hit Enter, and I'm going to hit Command V, and now I've got tricycle. And then the other one will, is probably going to be our index page. So um, I'm just going to go to bicycle, and actually I'm going to do this because it realistically should be first. I'm going to do H. A H reference. I'm going to hit e equals, and then I'm going to do in I need a quotation. I'm going to do the index HTML, and then I'm going to go ahead and we can do um, home. We can do yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do home. And then I'm going to go ahead and close it like that, and then do that, that, and that. And so now we've got home, and then if we go to bicycle, we've got unicycle, and now we'll have to do that. All right, so actually, I'm going to actually not do every single thing for you guys. So we've got the index page taking us to our three pages. I just did the bicycle page for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you do the tricycle or the unicycle page. So you guys should be able to figure that out now that I've done this for you. So your um, tricycle and unicycle page should look like this, except for obviously the page you're on. You're not going to want that link. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys do that. I will be checking this. All right, I'm going to finish this. And lesson seven. All right. Adding new pages. So this is what you guys are going to eventually have to do here. Uh, to make your multi-page website, you're going to need to add multiple pages to your project. So let's practice. That's um, So to practice, let's split the content on this sample page into two web pages and link them together. And that's basically what you guys are going to do. So they've got M Maria's Hair Company, about her. So that technically should be the main page. Then what we're going to do is we could take tips for curly hair, make that a page, tips for straight hair, make that a page, and tips for hair in general, make that a page, all right? So she's got the index page, and we got our style sheet, and then she's got her picture that she used right there. So it says to add a new HTML file by clicking Add HTML. The new file will appear, all right? It's going to show up over here, so I'm going to hit Add HTML. And then um, make sure that your name is unique. So I'm going to have to come here. It says new-1. I do not want that. All right. So I'm going to look back on the index page, and I think I'm going to name it um, uh, curly. We'll say So I'm going to go here. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go rename, and I'm going to call it curly.
curly. Okay, so now I have an HTML page right here with nothing on it. It says use the HTML to fill out your new page. All right, so here's what we need to do. I'm going to go to my index page and I'm going to come down here where it says curly. All right, I'm just going to copy and paste all of this. I've got, it's got all my um, tags. It's got everything that I need. And I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to hit control C and I'm going to go over here to my new HTML and right in here be between body. Okay. I'm going to get hit command V and now I have my, at least I have some stuff over here. Now, will I have to work on doing some CSS? Yes. Um, but at least now it's showing you how to split this up. So I can go here and I'm going to do one more real quick. I'm going to hit add HTML. I'm going to look back on my index and my next one is going to be straight. So I'm going to right click, rename. I'm going to call this straight. And then I'm going to come down here, tips for straight hair. And I'm going to come down to right above there, Command C. I'm going to go to straight. I'm going to go in between my body. I'm going to hit Command V. All right. Link to your new page from index and link back. All right. You guys should know how to do that. I shouldn't have to do that for you now. So you're going to go ahead. And you're gonna, and we can probably delete this out of here um, because we don't need it on there anymore. And so I'm just gonna delete this. And tips for straight hair. I haven't done anything with the other one, so I don't want to delete that. So now you, this is what you guys are gonna be doing. You're gonna take your one single page and you're gonna make it into several pages. And what you're, and um, and we'll talk a little more about how we're gonna. Uh, um, style sheet those but anyway so right now then they want you to link these pages and you guys should be able to do that now um, you can add however the text you want to link those so there's that assignment for you guys to finish all right so that's that for today and uh, go ahead and like I said if you tried to do this and you got stuck you can watch through this video to see if you can see where you went wrong